We just saw the largest online shopping day ever, with more than $6.5 billion spent on Cyber Monday. As these goods make their way to your home, law enforcement is warning consumers about increased mail theft and package theft that they are seeing this time of year. We learned how you can best protect yourself from becoming a victim and what to do if you suspect your mail has been stolen. As online shopping continues to grow, so do the amount of packages that are delivered to your home instead of brick and mortar stores. And you hope that once you order that package, that it will arrive where it's going. But that doesn't always happen. Yeah, we see a increase in um, theft of mail during the holiday season and then theft of packages um, off the front stoops. If the package is delivered to your doorstep, anything can happen before you get home. Theft of packages, you know, there's so many more consumers doing online shopping um, now during the holiday season. You're buying a lot of gifts and it is convenient and you get them shipped to your home and everything. But um, criminals also know that uh, there's an increase in those kind of purchases that are being shipped to home. So they're watching out. The thieves might not know what is in the package, but they know there is a chance that they can use it, sell it, or return it to the store where it came from. They usually steal envelopes for simpler reasons. And the reason for the theft of mail increase is a lot of people this time of year are sending cards and inside those cards are gift cards or cash. And this is just prime opportunity for somebody stealing mail. But this doesn't have to be your story. There's some things that people can do, you know, don't send cash and don't send gift cards through the mail. If it's a possibility to send a card and maybe do an online transfer of funds, um, there's so many options out there like pop money and things like that where you can deposit directly into people's account. I know it's not as sentimental or whatever, but it's, it's accomplishing the same goal and taking away the risk of being a victim of theft. You can also receive as many bills as possible online, use a locking mailbox, get packages delivered to your workplace, and get the mail out of your mailbox as soon as possible, even if it's just junk mail. With my junk mail also comes, again, the pre-approved credit cards and information like that, where thieves who are pretty sophisticated, they steal mail for a reason, um, may be able to glean enough information to open up accounts. Um, we've seen accounts for um, like cellular service opened, um, even shopping accounts just open based on some pretty generic information. You can also opt out of pre-screened credit card offers, get your packages sent to the post office instead of your home, use in-store pickup, track your packages, or require a signature on your package deliveries. Taking any or all of these steps can take more effort on your part. But it's actually worth it um, because we are seeing an increased um, call load even on people being victims of theft, and sometimes maybe you're not going to recognize that you were a victim till well after the fact. And even if you are not an avid online shopper, you can help keep your neighborhood safe by keeping an eye out. If you see suspicious activity in your neighborhood, people lingering in cars or even walking the streets or by mailboxes, you know, and you're not really sure what they're doing, call 911. Let the officers and the deputies go and check it out, um, because this is truly a problem for us. For North Metro TV News, Danica Peterson, reporting. Laura says that mail theft continues to be a big problem through tax season when a lot of financial documents with social security numbers are in the mail. We have links to several of the ways you can protect yourself on our website, northmetrotv.com, under news. If you suspect that you have been a victim of theft, you should contact your seller to see if it was insured, contact the delivery company to confirm it was delivered, and make a report with law enforcement.